OneNote is first a PC app, then an iPad one. But the Apple Pencil gave the iPad version capabilities that made its user experience better than we get from laptops and desktops. That is, of course, if you prefer handwriting your notes. In this video, we will be going through some features you might be missing out on by not using the PC version of OneNote. Hey guys, it's Rob Sipak with Paperless X, a channel that is dedicated to helping you find the best apps for your business, education, productivity, creativity, and lifestyle. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. In this video, we'll be comparing the Mac OS version of OneNote to the iPad one. On the Mac, you will mostly be typing your notes, while on the iPad, you handwrite them with an active stylus. The drawing feature will obviously work better on the iPad. Sticky notes are only available on the iPad version of OneNote. These can be a decent way to keep track of things you need to do without leaving the application. To access them on the Mac, you need to use the web version of the application in which case you will be able to switch between your Samsung notes and sticky notes, a feature you do not have on the iPad version. When you customize the font in your notes, sometimes you want to keep headings, subtitles, and highlights consistent. It becomes tiring if you have to keep applying these formats to your text multiple times. The format feature allows you to pick up the formatting from text you've already customized to apply it to text you want to change. This will save you the time you would waste trying to make your text uniform. On the iPad, to add superscripts and subscripts to your notes, you need a special keyboard app. On the Mac, you have the features on your toolbar, which makes working with equations easier and faster. Both versions support a variety of bullet points when creating hierarchies in your lists. However, on the Mac, you have more options on your starting or your first bullet point from nine options. The iPad version's lists always start with the dotted bullet point, which you don't have an option to change, and the same goes for your numbering options. When you don't like the changes you've made to your text, you can clear the format on your Mac. Unfortunately, the iPad doesn't have this feature, so you have to undo or remove each format one by one. On the iPad, you have more tags than you get on the Mac. You get a total of 23 tags for your iPad versus just five for your Mac. On the Mac, however, you can create custom tags. You can name your tag and choose an icon for it from a limited few. Let's hope in the future we'll be able to use emojis for icons. They make better and more familiar icons. Even though you get more tags on the iPad version, not all of them will be as useful as the tags you create yourself. You can even search tags, specifically just your tags on the Mac. That is quite useful. It's kind of why we tag information on our notes so we can easily find it. On both versions, you can't insert a file that is more than 100 megabytes. On the Mac, the app offers you to upload to OneDrive and insert link. Whether this is better or not will depend on your workflow and your preferences, but the iPad doesn't have this option at all. Audio recording on the iPad is not very useful because you can't use the app while recording. If you want to record audio while taking notes, use the PC version of OneNote. It even has a better playback interface that allows you to bookmark sections of your audio. You can save online information to OneNote using the Web Clipper extension. It allows you to clip a full page, region, then you can pick a location for it where you want it in your OneNote. You can choose the notebook and section in your notes. You can also add some notes to it and this can be quite useful for research. On the Mac, you can recover deleted notes. You can view your deleted notes, empty deleted notes, and disable history for this notebook. You can view deleted notes to restore to a notebook and section of your choice. And this feature is particularly useful because on the iPad, you can't restore your deleted pages. On the Mac, you have another organization layer for your notes. 
You can group your sections and the groups you create appear on the iPad. Clearly, there are plenty of reasons to start using both versions of the applications together. On the Mac, sadly, you don't have page sizes as you do on the Windows version of OneNote. The inconsistencies across multiple platforms in OneNote are infuriating. We are working up to reviewing OneNote for PC. We will have that video on our PC Apps channel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it when it's ready. We hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.